Some of you have asked for a playlist from the convention that I played for last night at Safe House. And I'm going to give you that playlist in this video today. The situation was, I played there on New Year's, and about 20 minutes after midnight, I blew up the main dance floor PA. And why it blew up? It was neglect. It was very old. It's probably a 30 plus year old PA system that was on its last leg. It needed cleaning. It didn't get cleaned. I just smoked the amps and probably popped the speakers. The safe house has several rooms, and all the rooms have their own zone for music. All those zones were working. It was just dance floor that was popped. So since New Year's, they've been operating as a restaurant because they haven't had the funding from their corporate office to bring in a DJ. So they haven't touched the PA. But they needed me last night, so I came in and I ran the Evolve 30Ms and they sounded great. My son-in-law helped me set it up. They were the perfect speaker for what I was doing there. And my son in law is really into cool in the gang ladies night. He likes the breakdown of that song. This is your night tonight. So I thought I'd go ahead and play that as a song to test the PA. So that was the first song I played. I followed that up with Scott Groove's Mothership Reconnection. And people started really getting excited. They wanted more. I was surprised because I was just trying to do a system test, you know, just a sound check, but they wanted more. So I did Big Love by Pete Heller, which is a cool track. If you don't know it, look it up. Follow that up with To Be Real, Wookie. And then I played Sunshine, Wookie. I thought I'd try some mainstream stuff after that. So I did Lil Boo Thing, Paul Russell. Toxic, Britney Spears. Fergie, Fergalicious. Stay, Kid Lario. And... and just keep in mind that dinner is still happening at this point, but people are dancing in their chairs. But they got up and started dancing on the dance floor too. There were a couple people out there, so I started DJing quite early, way before I was supposed to start. What makes you beautiful One Direction? And you know, just as a test, I was gonna see if I could just play anything and they would dance to it, so I started doing just that. Shake It Off, Taylor Swift, of course, brought a lot of girls out. Did I mention What Makes You Beautiful One Direction? I played that. Hips Don't Lie, Shakira. They're all big hits. Uh, we Found Love, Rihanna and Calvin Harris. On the Floor, Jennifer Lopez and Pitbull. Uh, Smack That, Akon and Eminem. Lady Majo, and they liked EDM. They were an EDM audience, and when I could throw those in once in a while, and they, they danced to them. Uh, Cascada, Evacuate the Dance Floor. And then I wanted to just open everything up, because it was 10 o'clock at this point. So I usually play the James Bond theme and talk over that when I'm, you know, opening it up and turning things up and turning lights on. Although they were dancing before that. So I kicked it off with Shake It Off again. <laughs> because more people were in there. Get the Party Started Pink. Uptown Funk. Mark Ronson. Uh, and then... Turned down for what, DJ Snake? They they dance to everything. I got a feeling, Black Eyed Peas. I knew you were trouble, Taylor Swift. I played that song because somebody came up and asked for a Taylor Swift song that I didn't have in my computer. And the song was, and I just downloaded it from Promo Only. It just got on Promo Only. It's Taylor Swift, I Can Do It With A Broken Heart. I've listened to the song and I've decided that I don't understand Taylor Swift at all. Like, at all. I mean, I understand people like Taylor Swift. I understand that she's empowering and girls like her. But the music I don't get. And personally, I'm not the kind of person who likes music from musicians from Milwaukee, necessarily. Or the United States. Or by white guys in their 50s. I, I don't need relatable artists for music. What I need are good songs. And this whole relatable artist thing is a thing. So I understand girls like her and she sells out stadiums and all that but i don't understand the appeal of the music i remember my grandmother who was born in 1916 you know she liked disco she liked van halen she liked top 40 music when i was a teenager she liked what i liked because it was cool music she couldn't relate to these people but you know she can't relate to david lee roth but she liked van halen and, and I'm, I'm wondering you know what's going on with some of this music today <laughs> why do i not 
really enjoy Taylor Swift. Are my ears broken? Or is this just one of those relatable artists and there's like this cult of Swifty who enjoys anything she does? My rant's over with that. I will have I Can Do It With A Broken Heart on hand tonight and I will play it and I'm sure people who are really into it will dance their hearts out to it. But I don't get it. I Knew You Were Trouble was the substitute song. Next, Weekend I Can't Feel My Face. Again, I thought they would pretty much dance to anything. And it came to a point where I felt like I needed to rotate the dance floor because there were people on the dance floor that weren't moving. And I wanted to bring the people from the bar out. So I did that with the Cupid Shuffle of all things. They left the bar and they came out and did it. And more new people came to the bar, which is what you need to do when you work at a club. You need to rotate the bar. The more money they make, the better off the place is. You don't do it in an insulting way. You don't throw on Tiny Tim's tip through the, the tulips and kick them off the dance floor. But just do something different that's not necessarily what you're doing uh, to maybe shift the crowd a bit. Give them a break. Let them get a drink and then they can come back out in a few songs. So I did Cupid Shuffle. Followed that up with Hot in Here Nelly. Starship's Nicki Minaj. I want to dance with somebody, Whitney Houston. And I will say that was another rotation because the people who were into Starships were not into Whitney Houston. So I was able to rotate the dance floor again and brought new people out. About to end time, Lizzo. Low, Florida. Fireball, Pitbull. Levitating, Dua Lipa. I didn't have to try. I mean, they were just kind of dancing to whatever I threw on. Pour some sugar on me, Def Leppard. I thought I'd test the waters with rock because there were a lot of guys at this convention. But it wasn't really a rock crowd. I think they would have rather have heard EDM. And then when that was over with, I played a request that I wasn't familiar with. And I'm going to look this artist up. John Summit. Where are you? I had the feeling that it was something a little more country, but it was EDM. More EDM than anything else. Followed it up with The Business by request, Tiesto. And I played that song later on in the night. It was a big request. They liked that song. Another request was Bad Memories, Medusa, and James Carr or something. James Carter featuring a lot of people, and I won't even get into all that. It went over very well. Not as well as where you are in the business, but it went over pretty well. Any Man of Mine, Shania Twain, that was a request. It did pretty good. Again, I rotated the dance floor from more of an EDM vibe to a country vibe. We kept that going. This was a request. Um, Shabuzi, a bar song, Tipsy. That did well. They liked it. And then the request came in for Country Girl, Shake It For Me, Luke Bryan. Followed it up with the sexy and I know it party rock anthem mix that I always do. It's just easy and it's right there and it's low hanging fruit. So I did that. And that was followed up by Sweet Home Alabama. Again, dance floor rotation. Get them off the dance floor to the bar, get the bar off their stools onto the dance floor. And this was a request. A whole lot of money. BIA featuring Nicki Minaj. It did okay. It wasn't huge, but it did okay. Good as hell, Lizzo. Did a little better. Gasolina Daddy Yankee did very well. And I also did uh, Guy Show Pitbull. Did really good. Big Energy Lotto. Did all right. I kind of think that song's burnt out. I don't know. It just doesn't seem to do what it used to. But I like the song. Your Love Outfield did very well. A lot of guys came out for that. A request for uh, Promiscuous by Nelly Furtano. That did very well. Call Me, Eric Pritz, of course, was great. And the request came back for the business Tiesta. We played it again. The argument was, hey, it's a different crowd. More people are here and they really want to hear that song. And they were singing along to that like it was something that they've done before as a group. So, yeah, it did very well. Followed that up with uh, Avicii's Levels. Yeah, great. And this one I threw on as a test just to see if I could get away with it. Because... I very rarely play it, but I like it. And that's Michael Mind, Blinded by the Light. It went over great, and they were singing along to it. Of course, I you know, was beat mixing it with levels. Went over great. 
And I was really happy that it went over so well because I think it's a cool song. I don't get the opportunity to play it very much. Mixed into I Love It, I Kind of Pop, that always does well. Rock Your Body Rock, uh, Ferry Corstein did okay. It did fine. But I knew it was time to jump out of the EDM vibe and rotate once again. So I did Miley Cyrus Party in the USA and it went over very well. Followed up by Call Me Maybe. And this is what happened at this point. The dance floor was so packed that it felt like a concert. I mean, people were like this and they were just right, you know, it was packed hard and they were almost pogoing like in a mosh pit. And I looked over at the bar and it was empty. I thought, I need to send some people to the bar. But I don't want to insult anybody. So I played Fat Boy Slim Praise You. And some people liked it, but a lot of people went to the bar. I did Timber, Pitbull, it went over fine. Bounce, Calvin Harris, went over fine. I did my remix of Lizzo and Eminem with About Damn Time and Without Me. It's something that I put together last year and I play it and it gets a lot of attention. People like it. They were singing along to it. And then I did, I like the way you move body rockers. And then I did a Genius of Love Tom Tom Club. And that's when everybody went to the bar. They didn't hate it, but they didn't want to dance to it. The bar was five, six people deep for the rest of the night. So I was just playing songs that I liked and I thought they might like. So I did one more time Daft Punk. I like it. Enrique Iglesias, uh, Bangarang Skrillex, Move Your Body Nina Sky. Uh, requests came in for this one, and I don't know that anybody got too excited about it except the bros who requested it. Uh, Two Phones by Kevin Gates. Uh, then I just wanted to just play whatever because it was winding down. I did. I wanted to tell her Ministry, which is a song I like, but I'm sure nobody there cared. Somebody came back and wanted to hear Where You Are Again by John Summit. I played that for him again. Nobody was dancing. It didn't matter. Followed that up with Losing It. Fisher actually got some dancers for that. And then they left when I played a Phoenix by Daft Punk. Did Edge of 17, Wookie. And I closed the night with Wookie Sunshine, My Girl, which is a great song. If you don't know it, you should download it and check it out. So that was night one of this convention, which is Northwest Mutual Life. It's a very young crowd. It was a nice crowd. This group of people, I believe, were from Minneapolis. They were very polite. I got a lot of positive feedback from them. They tipped very well. The group tonight, I'm not sure if it's the same group or a different group. They, they, they come in from different places and, and array us on different nights. So we'll see what happens tonight. It's the same thing tonight as last night. As far as setup goes, 30 ohms on the dance floor, just DJing from 9 o'clock until 2 or whatever. Maybe a little earlier if I go there a little earlier. I'll start up. Tomorrow night, I'm not sure what's going to happen. Stay tuned for that. It might change it up a little bit for tomorrow night, but something's happening tomorrow night as well. So that's the playlist. That's what I played. I'd be really interested to compare it to tonight to see how different it is. The same kind of stuff or something completely different. We might have Taylor Swift. I could do it with a broken heart in there. And I'm going to be also be curious as to who's on the dance floor and who cares about that song. So anyway, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your likes and your comments and your questions. Thank you for being interested in the playlist at all. I'll try to do one tomorrow for what I did tonight. And we'll see you soon. Practice and enjoy.